I can't believe this picture. Somebody's holding a black widow spider. I hope for their sake it's one that's already dead. Ladies and gentlemen, don't try this at home. Hi, I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching environmental science and working out in the field for over 20 years, and I've encountered, especially since I moved to Florida, my share of these little critters. I'm here to talk to you today about handling black widow spiders, western, southern, northern, really the rule is the same. I'm actually here to talk to you today about not handling black widow spiders. Here's why. Black widow spiders have some of the most potent venom of any animal that exists on the earth. They're very tiny spiders and the females don't have mouth parts that are really that strong, but they can still inject enough venom into you to make you really miserable and probably send you to the emergency room. A Couple of things to know about black widow spiders. They're most active at night. We call that nocturnal. And they're not crazy about, about human beings, so they're likely to try to stay as far away from you as possible. However, they do like dark crevices, and so if you have a shed out back, or you have a garage, or maybe you have an old brush pile, or you know an old tractor sitting out there that needs some attention, that's where you may very well find some of these lovely ladies making their nest. If you need to get rid of them, there's a couple of ways that you can go about it. They actually make something that looks like a little bug vacuum cleaner that allows you to vacuum them up without touching them. Be careful of their egg sacs because they can lay thousands of eggs in the course of one summer. If you have an infestation, you're seeing multiple spiders, it's probably best to call a pest company. As I said, just one of them can give you a nasty bite and in that case it's really best to let the professionals do what they know how to do. If you should get bitten by a black widow spider, err on the safe side and seek medical attention. You'll know that you're dealing with a black widow because you're going to see a black body with um, some sort of red on the abdomen. This is the southern black widow with a red um, hourglass shape. You might also see red spots on the top. That'll let you know you're dealing with a different species. But like I said, the best rule of thumb for handling them is don't. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Handling Western Black Widow Spiders.